Hello, you welcome. You welcome onto my channel today, and it gives me great joy to observe you are in this video. Hi, I'm Dr. Lion Kakonle. I am a lecturer in the university. I am a migration expert, and on this channel, I do a number of things. But all the things I do on this channel, they are regular and they are consistent, and you can cluster them into four: sociology, research, relationship, and migration. So this video you are viewing is within my migration videos and i have a playlist on this channel on migration so you can view them to catch up meanwhile are you subscribed onto this channel if no kindly go ahead and tap the subscribe button on your screen right now to subscribe to the channel click the subscribe button on your screen and if you have subscribed to this channel previously thank you very much for staying tuned i thank you so this video you are viewing is to provide updates on the latest information on immigration in the UK, especially concerning healthcare workers or people in care workers, in, in care work generally in the health sector. A new update has been provided. I dropped a video on care work or care workers previously. You can view that. So this video, the title is, it is official. Of overseas healthcare workers banned from bringing dependents to the UK. It's official. Overseas health and care workers banned from bringing dependents to the UK. This is the latest information. So now, beginning from April, care workers, healthcare workers cannot bring dependents to the UK anymore. And you know this is you can see this is like a progression they have just done the same for overseas students but now the government the home office announced yesterday that care workers health workers coming to the uk will not be able to bring their dependents with them any longer this is essentially to curb net migration negative to curb net migration problem in the uk there is this problem the government have been complaining about abuse of the health and care worker visa. You know, and increasing migration in the UK has become a political issue and, and an economic issue, existential issue, like they call it. So now the government has taken this giant step again to curb health care workers coming to the UK to, to have not allow them to just freely bring their dependent on like what you have up to now, because they believe too many people come to the UK as dependent. And they don't add much value to their system. So there have been changes that are very fundamental so that they can slash immigration substantially to curb this abuse and you know to achieve biggest ever reduction you know in net migration. And this is actually uh, what the, the language that the Home Office used to, to achieve the biggest ever reduction in immigration. You know, so the, the, this is a is very issue. So the, the attention now is to make sure that the unsustainable growth in the population of the United Kingdom based on immigration is reduced because they consider this kind of immigration boom as unsustainable, as unprecedented, and very dangerous for the UK for its negative reasons, especially when you look at it from the healthcare, you know, perspective, that the health workers and care workers, they need to bring some radical changes so that there can be it. for example the uk government want to focus most on more on attracting businesses high talent skills skills that are not sufficiently available in the uk so the attention is to reduce my immigration from the health care, health care or care worker perspective reduce those immigration from that route now focus on highly skilled workers or business people who can add value to the UK economy. That's their logic. You know, now, it's very even difficult to now obtain care, care visa or health visa now. For example, now, for you to be able to obtain even health care, health care visa or care visa, anybody that wants to obtain it must earn not less than 38,700 pounds sterling to obtain visa, to be qualified for that visa. That's huge if you look at it. Very huge, that is, people must earn for not less than 38,700 pounds, wow, to be qualified to obtain such visa. You know, and this is this used to be 26,200 pounds. If you earn 26,200, 
200 pounds, you know, you are qualified. But now that has been increased to disqualify too many people. That people must now earn not less than 38,700 pounds sterling to be qualified. And care workers, even beyond that, who are banned still from April, they are banned from bringing their dependents. And now, even there is now more attention on sponsoring organizations, organizations that, organizations that sponsor people to come to the UK. Now there's going to be huge regulation concerning them. Now there is Healthcare Quality Commission. We now be expected to regulate all these firms that are sponsoring people on, on care visa. So, and you know, there's also, this is also about economics. There's the economics of it. You know, the UK, the Home Office believe that too many people are coming. For example, you have dependents, you know, accompanying ap appreciably up to 120,000 pounds, 120,000 pounds sterling, accompanying people of just 100,000, you know, pounds sterling care, care workers. In 2023, as of September, year ending September 2023, now it's like you have people on care visa coming, you know, on, on the average of 100,000 pounds. Now they have now have dependents who are now benefiting as much as 120,000 uh, 120, pounds because of ac they accompany the people. And now to make, even make it worse, the government is saying only 25% of these dependents actually work. You know, you're talking about, for example, 100,000, you're, you're coming on 100,000 pounds, yet you are having dependents, you know, with 120,000 you know, pounds dependence. That's a negative value for the UK government. And they think this is not reasonable. And again, it's expected that when you bring your dependents, as they are benefiting from the UK economy, they should also be working. They should work to also contribute to the UK economy. But they're not saying even of all these dependents, only 25% of them are actually working. So many, the 75%, if you like, depend on public service, which is a lot of stress on the public service. I'm just telling you the logic of all of this and the statistics that have been used. So for them, immigration must make financial contribution to the UK economy. So if they go to be immigration, this, there must be substantial contribution to the UK economy. So that means immigrants must not come to become liability on the public service that's already overstretched. So if immigration will happen, it has to be based on highly skilled people, business people who are bringing value in terms of funds, in terms of skill to the UK and contribute substantially, big financial contribution to the UK economy. That means now to further discourage even care worker visa or health care visa, to further discourage it, now the charge, you know, the charge, the annual immigration Healthcare charge will not be raised by 66%. Oh, that's huge. You see, the, the, the attention is to discourage by, by all means. That means annual immigration healthcare charge will be raised by 66%. You know, that it will be from 624 pounds. Look at it. From 624 pounds to 1,035 pounds. You look at that will be raised from 624 pounds to 1,035 pounds on the average. You know, that means on average, there, will not be, there must be contribution from that sector of not less than 1.3 billion pounds for the healthcare services in the UK. That means from all these charges they are raising, they are thinking of raising funds for the NHIS and other healthcare apparatuses in the UK that they should be able to annually they should be able to raise an average of 1.3 billion pounds for the healthcare services you know and they want to also use all these prohibitive immigration strategies you know to reduce undercutting of salaries of british nationals you know the british i know they are complaining that because of so much immigration now now they are not earning well anymore aside the cost of living crisis which i've i've, 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 I've made video on I've done video on how to, how to avoid homelessness abroad and many other things. So there's complaint. You know, I told you this is also political, economic, social, and existential. So they also want to be sure that the UK nationals 
British nationals are able to earn decent wages because the belief is that when they bring overseas healthcare workers, there is flood, flooding of skills in that sector in the market. And because of that, UK nationals are poorly paid because immigrants usually they are underpaid and they don't mind. So they want to reduce undercutting of salaries of UK nationals. So skilled workers any will, will not be within the threshold, will be increased to 38,000 pounds from the next spring. That means skilled workers who are in the UK and want to earn, want to work, will be increased you know, to the threshold of 38,000 pounds. That means if people still have they are still highly skilled, they are not discouraged. Just that there is a streamlining because of the abuses that have been observed in the healthcare visa and care visa. So the attention now is to discourage massive immigration of people on healthcare, on the healthcare visa and workers' visa. You know, there have been complaints that even people that are not qualified, even people who don't know anything about healthcare, people who don't even know anything about care, are just brought into the UK. To be working in that sector because they see that that is the easiest and the fastest route to entering the uk so the uk has not seen that that uh, they, there are so many people using that route of health care and care worker visa and they have no business using that sector and to just come to the uk there have been cases of people who are abroad they cannot speak english cannot even do anything they are just attached to people as dependent people who have who have collected the health care and care worker visa so I think this is just to discourage people from using this route. But there are still opening for business people, highly talented people, highly skilled people to still come to the UK. But as far as people on healthcare and care workers visa are concerned, from April, they can no longer bring their dependents to the UK because they believe they're not adding much value to that system. Until I see you in my next video, kindly subscribe to this channel and share as widely as possible for people to be updated. Bye for now.